to another episode of Anno 1800. We're going to be continuing on here in Rantium and probably getting this upper district out of a whole bunch of farmers. Um, just wanted to start off by saying thank you to everybody who have caught up on the series. There have been quite a few people who've actually reached this point and who just recently found the channel. So thank you so much for binging through it. I appreciate everyone's comments, your feedback, and uh, you know everything that I receive as far as comments are concerned, don't worry about it, okay? Like if there's something that you want to add that would help me, by all means say it. Because in the long run, I want to get better. And the only way to get better is to address the problem areas that obviously you guys hear, you know, that, that's something I don't know about, right? So thank you so much. Again, continued support is absolutely crazy. I, I'm just, I'm besides myself. I'm quite penetrated by your kindness, you know? <laughs> just, I'm gonna say that all the time. Regardless of what I'm doing, that is my line now. I, I've stolen it from Archie. He doesn't even know how to use it, right? So pull up your breeches and let's thrust into the unknown. Well, we actually know what we're doing, actually. But uh, what we need to do is I actually got some more resources in here. It's kind of actually waiting for Captain Tobias to come in. So I'm actually really digging this district even more than I was thinking about before. The thing about it is, right, I just now I completely agree with Lemon a lot when it comes down to the artisan homes. But I know that there's mods and everything that changes the look and all that good stuff. That will probably be in the future, but... Uh, what I want to do is this road going towards the zoo over here is not doing it for me anymore, Chief. It really is not. So I'm going to get rid of it entirely. And I'm going to just get the canal going. Because quite frankly, if it's connected to this side in that way, it's just blocking off what I could potentially work on over here. This little section over here is also a bit of a problem, but I'll work on it at some point. Not right now, though. Right now, the most important thing to address is, uh, can I actually begin upgrading some more of my engineers and then determine how I'm going to get some champagne over here? Now, the problem is that ditch water is, to a point, producing champagne, right? But... I don't think it's capable of producing enough for Rantium quite yet. So, uh, I do have a trade union over here, and I also do have these glassmakers right over here. I would have to put at least in a trade union over here to optimize this one fully, because, you know, these sand mines are also working pretty okay-ish. They're, it's mostly Don't only just because people. of the, um electricity so they're running every 15 seconds these guys are running every 15 seconds so it's a one-to-one -one. and then these guys are at a 15 second as well so it's exactly balanced out this is the main problem if i can just import the quartz sand then i won't have to worry about actually having that shit over here uh so the main problem now is I just don't have like fantastic resources to utilize, but you know what? Maybe jewelry may not be a bad one. Uh, let's actually bump jewelry up one, and I would like to import quartz sand. You know, 3,763 is not bad. So I'm also taking grapes over to Isengard. How much do they have here? They're full up here uh, along with citrus okay that's crazy okay so if that's the case um what i would want to do is wait for captain tobias to come in which will be in how long five minutes 20 okay and then we're gonna get rid of all these sand mines because then we're gonna have plenty of quartz sand in here where is it even it's already loaded up man what the hell do i God damn it. Every time, man. It, it legitimately never fails. This is a bug. I don't know what's happening over here. <laughs> get rid of all this. I don't know if I can get rid of these. It might just go away on its own. But yeah, we have uh, floating crates. Oh, there's floating crates out here, too. Don't you love it when uh, Anno 1800 reminds you I'm it's still buggy? To introduce our new <laughs> oh, boy. 
So we're going to have to get some specialists for our champagne sellers. Then we're also going to have to get some for our glass makers. So I guess uh, before we head back to Ranting, we should probably get this situation rectified, right? We have plenty of glass right now, so I can delete these for the time being. Uh, get this all situated. That doesn't want to work with me properly. Okay. So I think we are, we're probably going to have to have at least another six. So I'm going to plop down another district like right here. No, it's not going to work with that. How big is the radius here? Why don't I just add more to it? Yeah, there we go. Put one there. Uh, this sucks because of the stupid warehouse. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Along with this road. Let's get another one here. This road also sucks. I'm not gonna fix this one too. Uh, give me one hot second. I swear it's gonna work. Let's get it from. Well, why? I don't even need this damn thing here. Over here, and put it up here. There we go. That's better. So then we'll have more room over on this side. We'll have like room for like one or two up here. Because I really did want to have my champagne ideally come from Ditchwater more than any other place. So the power plant, it definitely needs to be connected, but I'll probably put it to like here. There we go. And then get rid of this. Let's get this road over to here. So it'll still connect and it's still going to be uh, full of electricity. Perfect. Uh, instead of all of this, you know what? Maybe instead of quartz sand, just have glass. Yeah. And then replace that with jewelry. So let's do that with 100. That'd be... 892 but i don't know if that's actually going to last for the long term because i'm providing champagne to constantinople and i think they are going through a whole bunch of it so therein lies the problem really upgrade you to max You are not in range of it, you're not in range of it, but it's it's good like this. Okay, let's angle it like so. So we have how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We have 13 champagne sellers, but we can actually work to optimize this. So I think uh, the research institute's still working on one... Oh, it's working on this shit, isn't it? Because this one's going to be a little bit more important. Uh, champagne cellar. Oh! Intriguing. That is also intriguing. Uh, yeah, so... Why don't we... Um, I hate to do this, but we're getting rid of these. And we're going to get this one. I'm not going to worry about Meg because uh, we already have electricity over there. Productivity, so that is 100% productivity right there. I can add in Ferris for 150%, but I feel like the book is going to be better because uh, more ethanol is actually going to be very, very worthwhile as we progress onward. So let's go ahead and grab that. And I do have Ferris somewhere, so if the production actually becomes a little bit sus... We're about to get rid of the gorilla. Um, if the production becomes a little bit sus, then I can swap that out. Not a big deal. But we're also going to have to get steam carriages over here. So I think I do have a spare ship or two or twelve. I do have some over here. Only I'm reporting in. The Cruddy Sna 3. Let's use that one. Where's the Cruddy Sna? There we go. Uh, bring over some steam carriages to Rantium because we're going to need it. Thank you. Uh, we're going to go to Rantium routes. Perfect. 
So let me, um, I came up with uh, what we're actually going to be doing with regards to the other islands over here in uh, Cape Trelawney. So Volcano is going to actually turn into a little little actual island of uh, settlers and whatnot. More than likely, based off of its position and the way the island is shaped, I think this can be a worker to artisan tier settlement. That should be pretty good. Uh, I do want to try and have at least a Docklands on each one of the settlements in air quotes. That way I can bring in what they require and I won't have to like 100% rely on Isengard because I'm a little still worried. Um, Netherplane is probably going to just be like a worker hive. It, I don't see another reason for this. If anything else, like it could have a lot of really good... Um, Maybe it could have like a lot of woodcutters over in this corner because it is pretty dense over here. And then we can put like some trade unions to make that work well. Uh, Alonso's might is where we're going to be having all of our elevator factories, which they will just be elevators. There are not going to be anything else because then I can trade the elevators and get the resources that they actually require. The only thing is that we're going to need a lot of storage capacity. The good thing of with the island is all of these iron mines too. The iron, the coal, zinc, etc. Uh, what we can do is we can actually change them all out, and I'm thinking about doing just that. What I might potentially consider doing is changing them to instead of, you know, the rest of these to zinc and copper. That way I have additional brass smelteries over here, because brass is also becoming a little bit sus over on that side. Gasparo's Glory, I feel like this is just going to be an artisan uh, settlement. And again, it has really dense forest back here, so we're going to get a whole bunch of woodcutters and everything. Uh, Saren is going to be like this very, very posh place. Uh, if I can possibly explain it better, I will try. I'm going to make it look your as pretty as possible. With uh, a lot of, I guess, blue type ornaments and stuff like that. The name Saren comes from... Uh, or at least where I think it comes from. It's uh, from RuneScape. Way back in the day when I used to play, um, Saren was one of the goddesses, and uh, she is the sister of Zaros, of whom I am a proud Zerosian. I still am to this day. Drumtout uh, probably turned into like a little island similar to like Ivy Gate and uh, Quietus. Probably the same with Vladivostok, but the only problem here... I can foresee is that it's just so small. It might just be a little farmer settlement because this is technically a um, like a ship, a port of some sort. So, Andra probably the same. But you know the good thing is like we could probably fit every single one of these into one trade union. So this is actually going to be pretty powerful. I think over here is another source of oil that we can exploit. Uh, Galaru is done with its fortification walls. They're just packing up and heading out. So we're, we should be seeing a settlement pop up over here relatively soon. And Karanthas is just doing its thing. So nothing too major. That's the plan for now. Uh, we need to just wait for this stuff over here to get, you know, research and all that good stuff. Uh, we can start upgrading once more. These guys probably want to school. Stuck in, so. Yeah, you definitely want to school, don't you? Let me get rid of the uh, fire station. Don't do anything stupid in the meantime. And I'm going to put the school like right here. You're going to get the road connection here. So then these guys will be able to populate. I, I love the canal going through. But why is it screwed up here in the middle? It's because it's got double roads. I see. Well, you know, we can always fix that. Problem solved. And we can put like some uh, farmer's market type stuff on this side and that side. That'll work quite well, actually. An Good. explosion in one of your factories. Seriously? How do you mess up a biscuits a manufacturing? Broke out. No, this takes skill. This 100% takes skill. I've never actually seen one of the... Oh, no, the entire, the entire complex is on fire. Yep, that's just fantastic. I, I have never actually seen one of these things explode. I didn't think it was possible. Oh, no, okay, no, they are all on fire. Okay, the only one that's not on fire is this one. 
It, but our attractiveness went up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, let me go ahead and put a fire station flick right here because I feel like we're going to need it. I, I just think this is so funny. These guys hate living here. Oh, I'm providing the pocket watches? Absolutely not. Do I even have enough here? If I do, I don't care. Okay, yeah, I guess I guess it's fine. That's so funny. Okay, can we like fix the situation now? But oh no, okay, so this one did actually. Oh yeah, it's same with the uh, the clay pit. That's that's great. That's that's really great. Okay, well we'll leave that be for now. We're just gonna go back to a, a happier locale. <laughs> we can upgrade these guys i just need to make sure i have enough of a farmer population because we're still utilizing them on karanthas so 426 uh this is getting a little bit too close for comfort let's just keep it at that because we don't need this many artisans so we need to upgrade them uh these workers also need to get upgraded looking good i quite like this church what do you guys think like, should I change the church skin for all the other ones to this one? I, I don't feel like this is working here. Like, it, it feels like it's out of place. I Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this one, and... Where's the church? There we go. Yeah, that works a lot better. For our, like, our style, I think that's a lot better. This one's also pretty good, don't get me wrong, but I, I'm really digging the other one. There we go. So I'll see to upgrade these guys to uh, artisans now. Because I don't want them to be on this little island and... and whatnot. See, like, this is okay, I guess, like, to have um, artisans in a little locale like this. That's not... Because their buildings are awkward. They're pretty, but they're awkward at the same time. Oh, we have a prime the fire has been vanquished. opportunity to do something epic there yeah, i have to get back there to rebuild this freaking biscuits line i don't even have enough wood over here man jesus christ how many do i even have here because i'm keep exporting it out i legitimately have one timber Hey, Thunderclap, what are you doing? Can you go over here? I need some of their timber. We're getting kind of low on uh, penny farthings over here. I might have to actually uh, revisit this settlement as well and start working on it. Because we can have probably like two more districts or something over here of, um, of these furnaces and whatnot. So I think that should be pretty good. But yeah, I personally, I'm not a big fan of, like, the furnace chains. Uh, I would just prefer to, like, nowadays, because you have Docklands and it's, like, cr ridiculously powerful, you can uh, just import the steel and you won't have to worry about it. That's why, like, on uh, in Rantium's territory, we're just going to import the steel. We're not going to actually produce it. There's no point. Uh, at least I don't see a point in doing so. Oh, boy. We need to upgrade a lot of these guys. So I definitely want to go down the middle. Are you... Rose cheeks and merriment. Can we get, you, like, one more person here? Because I really want to see this spot upgraded. Where else can we actually upgrade some of these guys? Because I really want to get rid of that university over there. Let's get these ones to investors. Uh, these guys are good. These guys are good. These guys are all engineers, correct? Yep. Wonderful. We'll have a decent amount of investors. To introduce our new colleague. Awesome. That's our first person when it comes to the champagne sellers. Yeah, there we go. That looks nice, man. Imagine once we actually have them as skyscrapers. That's going to be sick. Alright, so this one over here is absolutely useless now because these engineers actually are benefiting from this university 
So I'm going to get rid of this one right now. And what we need to definitely do is put down a warehouse. And I think this is probably the best place to do it. Make it look a little bit nicer. These guys won't like the fact that there's a warehouse in front of them, but there's only one other way. That that actually, that is the Customers only are way seeking goods, but we for us to actually bring in what we need. Yep, that's pretty much it. We can, we'll have like a little park or something over here. We can make it look nice. Uh, let's go with, um, can't do that one. No, not for, not for kiddos. That ain't gonna be fantastic. Um, what can we do here? Let's have a big fountain right here. We'll have a banner right here. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, come here. But that's not what I wanted at all. There we go. People celebrate your leadership. And we'll loop it around. It's looking good. We'll have a little newspaper stand right here. And then just some regular paving. There we go. We, we kind of fixed the situation. And uh, once we... I don't really want to upgrade this one to full right now. I don't think it's it's necessary. It's fine the way that it is. It's not like it's working like crazy. All it's going to really provide is just some uh, some stuff for these department stores. Not a big deal. I, I hate the fact that it's strobing. I, I don't like that. But we can work on that later. I guess. Uh, this spot's a little wonky with the roads. I'm not gonna worry about that right now, though. Get these guys upgraded. These guys as well. Okay, so we have plenty of engineers again. Where's some more engineers in the front that I can possibly upgrade? It would probably be over here, correct? Indeed. So it'd be around... Kind of close to the airport so let's get these guys upgraded to investors and they're getting what they require as far as like cigars steam carriages and chocolate it's just champagne right now that this we need to get a magnet for genius nice that's what i want to see pop up here all the time uh, what I will eventually do is implement the palace policy to increase the range of my um my power plants that way i can actually get this district up to investors as well because i feel like it would be really nice to have some skyscrapers over in this corner too uh but for the time being we're gonna leave this corner by itself we're gonna be working in this direction so these guys are gonna be Elegant next solution. on the on the upgrade train Let's see if i can just go ahead and get these guys Nice, so we got this corner all situated. We can even start working on upgrading these ones. So the only thing here is these homes, they don't make sense to me. The way that they're shaped right now and looking onward towards the canal, I don't like it. I see new floor. Uh, well, I do. Let's put it that way i i might have to downgrade these ones just so my brain can like rationalize it at this point but that's looking pretty solid um over here i also did upgrade these guys to engineers so we want to consider probably oh, finishing look. oh no why dude what do you mean nothing's happened there they have enough fried plantains they're constantly getting it. Did you just go to the one time, the one time they didn't have fried plantains there? No smoke without fire. Chance of fire in Inferna. Irresponsibly high. It's a fucking industrial island, dipshit. Oh my god. This just, change is absolutely just I I marvelous. I just yes, don't care. Of course. You know what's best. I do. Get away from me. You gained an influence bonus. So I'm going to have to get across here. So we'll build over in this corner next. Uh, da, 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 we need to probably... From here we can do it. 
So we want this. Uh, we'll probably have to get rid of the middle bit here. This is actually going to look nice. Cool. The people celebrate your leadership. I miss being a Tabarim, man. Should I just keep the district looking like this? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's not bad. Let's see how many homes I can fit in here. We can do something like this. There we go. And then that one there. I might bring it... No, I, I think that's okay. Let me do this instead. Because now I'm thinking for um, the long term. How the investors and engineers are going to look like. So this is going to be probably a little bit better. Don't worry about that. I can do some beautification in there. Let's loop this one up. So we are going to need a power plant over here, I would imagine, because you guys do not have power. Nice, I appreciate it. These guys need a road, though. Where can I fit a power plant in? Uh, maybe in the middle here? Because then that will cover this whole area, maybe? I have to find a really good spot for this one. So electricity is actually, because of this power plant, is going towards, like, the zoo area so i won't have to really stress out too much about this one i think this is probably gonna be the best spot because then it'll be able to be utilized for those two mines eventually so let me go ahead and make a little island over here for it i think this is probably a good spot i'll probably bring it like one more in yeah i think that's probably a better idea Let's get it like this. Connected. So it will go into this side as well. That's pretty good. What I actually should consider doing, really, is making it so it actually has a road connection all around. That way it will actually be able to be accessed from multiple different sides. Yeah, that's probably a better idea. Look at me pre-planning. There we go, that's going to be better. A little bit too deep, but whatever. Let's get this here. I wish you can just drag it when you have... There we go. So we have our other gas fire power plant over here. So it won't reach back here, but if I were to build a... How about if I build a mega long bridge? I think that'll be pretty sick. Hold on, let me see if I can do it. Okay, so we would need to have it at every two. So there's one, two, three. I think this is gonna be pretty sick. Yo, that's nice. That's really nice, actually. So please tell me you will actually reach this one. If I make a decent road, that is. Let's go to, like, here. Nice. Okay, it makes it. It makes it. That's cool. We are going to need to take get rid of these ones eventually. And we're going to replace it with the town hall. These guys seem to be fine. Her job. Yeah, I mean, the only thing is they're not close enough to the pub, but I don't really care. I could put another pub down if they really care that much about it, but right now I'm not going to give that much of a interest in order to really make them that happy about it. Uh, uh yeah, do I want to do this? Yeah, I can. That's fine. It's working. I think we have it. Perfect. I'm just letting that really run. Maybe I go down one more here and get rid of this. Because I kind of want to make the mine a little bit separate. I should probably consider this for now. And then do something like this. I didn't want that to happen. That's disgusting. Absolutely not. 
But then this guy won't have a road connection. Well, I can always just get rid of it. There we go. Easy. So I have like a little park in the middle or something. Pretty good. So that's actually another nice little district area. I'm going to do something nice down here that's not home related. Let's see if this is going to work well. Oh, wait a tick. Wait a tick. I can try something really nifty again here. Let me put... Let me see if this is going to look good. We'll have one canal go straight through. Why do I have the feeling I just want to get rid of this whole middle section now? In favor of just having canals. And the stuff back here. I didn't want that to happen. There we go. Get rid of this one. So I can fix that. And then I will get another bit of canal to go straight through. I'm not a big fan when they're that thin. But... I, I can live with it. It actually looks really nice. So let me fix it around the... Uh, the mine itself as well. Because I'm not going to be building anything over here. As far as homes are concerned. At least I don't think so. It is wasted space. So I'm maybe... In one of your factories. Are you shitting me? Stop, man. Like, come on. Th this is getting ridiculous now. Room to maneuver. This is how I'm here. Come over here and build this thing back up. I don't have any couch in here anymore. <laughs> Do you not bring it in? It's because I'm not even... Do they even have enough chassis? Kind of like on the low end. Think copper, all that, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, we're, we're gonna have to probably bring it from, uh, Inferna. What are they missing? Welcome to the manufacturing. Calchuk is just, I, I need to produce it myself. I, I'm not really worried about that at the moment either. That's a little bit of busy work that I deal with on my own accord, so you guys don't have to. Nope, that's not what I wanted. It built it up, but still opened the parts catalog. That's fantastic. New orders. Go ahead and build up the rest of these guys, then. What I would probably need to have is some sort of warehouse over here, though. I'm, I'm gonna need it because of the power plant. So maybe in this corner, I actually get rid of these. Maybe get rid of a little bit of the road there. Can this fit? I think it needs to go a little bit further forward, like right here. So a little bit more. There we go. Now it fits. Perfect. Get a road connection here. So I'm going to get rid of this little corner. Looking good. That's fine. Go ahead and build that up. How many, um, we should still be pretty solid when it comes to the Arctic gas, right? Where's the gas? I think I just passed it. Yeah, we're still full up. Okay. Build this one up too. Might as well. Get it going. And over here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a whole bunch of the paving down just so I can see what I need to get back to later on. And with that working, we should actually see these guys upgrade relatively soon. But what I want to do is head back over here and see if I can upgrade a couple more of these workers. Because I don't need this many here.
at least for now i know when it actually comes down to building the skyline tower we're gonna need some but the goal is to actually have a worker island so i won't have to worry about them being here and then whether i actually choose to upgrade these guys all to investors and whatnot is entirely up for debate because um i am aware that there's an achievement i do not have that being fifty thousand artistas or not artistas fifty thousand investors on uh, cape trelawney in the cape trelawney area not nearly as up market as i was led to believe so you better believe that i'm going to try to provide them with everything they want you would want the local mail so start giving that to you did i not give local mail to them at all oh that's a major oversight on my part I think I gave it to like everyone else. I did. From the liar. Oh, you know what? It's because I didn't have enough of them here. There we go. So they're getting um, local and overseas, which I can actually give them probably overseas mail too, because they actually pay out the ads for it. Get these guys upgraded. Interesting to see little townships just pop up, you know, as time progresses. We're definitely gonna need a school here, aren't we? Yep. Maybe, uh, th you know, utilizing the space. This is actually not a bad spot for it. I put canals around it. I feel like it's going to look weird here. I can try, though. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I think that's that's okay. That's quite all right. I have the amp of the time. Oh, a church would probably be fantastic here. Uh, maybe the church can go over here, then. Yep, let's put the church here, and we'll also put a little connection, like, right here. That way you just walk right into the church grounds. We don't need to actually have a road connection around it. Is there a way that I can make this one more... Okay, I, I, don't, I don't like that, so because I don't like it, we're gonna... Bring it one further forward and make it one deeper over there and then put this behemoth down there we go that works better that works better so i can keep this straight line kind of over here nice i'm not that crazy okay it, it looks good it makes sense in my brain we're leaving it at that <laughs> okie dokie so in a minute 14 we're going to get the last item we need to actually optimize our champagne cellars. And then I'm hoping that we can actually start bringing it over here. And then we can start building up some skyscrapers. By Jove! He's happy. I want more archways over here. I don't think I have enough resources, though. I'll have to check. But it would look nice over here. So let me just see about one archway looking good. And by the time we come back in the next episode, I'm going to do a lot with the uh, the boardwalks because I've worked on a decent number of them up until like here and with these uh, tourists over in this corner. This side needs a little bit of work. This side needs some work over to here. So that's probably what I'm going to work on. You know what I could probably do? I could probably make these guys into like touristy trap press things. Here reminds me of my own dabbling in journalism. Audacious, free, and scandalous. Did I ask her anything? I wasn't aware that I did. We also have to give her lemonade. What the, what the hell do I have to do for lemonade? This represents an extra. Okay, thanks. Uh, so the sugar refinery, saltpeter works, and then we're also gonna have the chemical plant. Okay, got it. So I hope you guys are ready because that shit's gonna taste so nasty. I I'm not a big lemonade fan at all. I I'm really not. So we have fifteen thousand engineers here. Let's go ahead and start researching those items from before. Uh, did I actually recruit any of them or no? 
that's the real thing. Because if I didn't, I'm just going to go for the snowflakes one more time. I do have the white peacock, so I'm not going to worry about that one. Snow... Oops. Snowflakes. There we go. So I'm going to need this one, make this one, make this one. Definitely going to need this the one. Presence of a virtuoso. Yeah, sure. Why not? So we'll have uh, these ones. Is that correct? We have the Fennec first. Got it. Okay, let's head back to Ditchwater really quick. Because we're going to have to actually build this up. Where's my item transfer defense? Right here. Okay. From Rantium, I'm going to need the following. I definitely need my book. Where's the champagne seller lady? She's right here. And then the other one... Where is the other person? Have I gone stupid again? I think I have. There it is. So I should probably change this out in favor of champagne, which we are going up on. That's really good. Because these guys are also drinking it, so we definitely bear that in mind. I'm going to need to probably bring... Oh, the Thunderclap and the Minerva. That's actually... I like both of their names. I'm going to use the Minerva. In the turn. And then once I get these items in here, then those guys are going to work a lot faster. And then I'll be a lot happier and confident in the fact that we're actually going to get some really nice specialists here too. So let's grab this one, grab this one, and grab this one. So they're working at 15 seconds right now. Just based off of the electricity, tricky this day. we should be seeing it be a lot faster. So let's start off with the book. Where's the book at? Right here. So 20% faster. That's not 13 seconds. Okay. Then the copper distiller. 11 seconds. So we're going into the single digits for sure. Nine seconds. Nine seconds for some... Uh, but you know what? It can be faster if I really chose to um, use... What's his name? Ferris. Instead of probably the copper pot. Do I have Ferris here? How would this work? See, like, if I were to replace this one with Ferris, that'd be eight seconds. It's only a second more. I don't really care. I would prefer to have the ethanol instead. So how are we looking with our great productions? Uh, now it's going to actually be a problem. So that means we're going to have to expand upon the fields a bit. I didn't think that was going to happen. I yeah. Like the bottle. It's the boss. I did not think that was going to happen at all. Which means we're going to have to probably build some more farm fields over in this corner. And I probably have the specialist necessary. Why do I have a school here? Oh yeah, I get it now. Probably fix up this road as well too. Uh, da, 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 da. Maybe put this trade union like right here. Yep. I have to fix up this road really quick. Because I'm going to need this space. Hey, every time that happens, man. So annoying. Okay, we're gonna need this guy in here. We're going to need this person in here. And that's for the tailors. Who's the other guy? Is it this one? Oh, it's this one. Okay, perfect. But we wouldn't be in the range of the fuel depot unless I put a fuel depot right down here, which I probably will have to do then. Okay. Yeah, building it in this corner, I think, will be probably really good. Or, or, I can actually put it a little bit further down. And for it to actually, one or two of them be on the other side. Yeah, that would actually be a little bit better. Space-wise, yep. I get this under control really fast. This one, and then, where's the last guy at? This dude, got it. So, where is this thing? We need the fuel. Fuel depot. I'm going to put probably like 
right here. Yep. And then connect it to both sides. So we'll have some fuel coming in here. And then we go over to the investors. And we start making some more vineyards. Because we are going to need a lot. What brings you here, master? Uh, grapes. I need some more grapes. I'm not going to worry about the farms actually looking the nicest. I just want them to be working as, as efficiently and effectively as possible. Uh, if I were to put... I need to put it behind it. Yep. We'll do something like this. I'll put a road right through it. Like so. And we're going to expand over in this direction. But if it's like this, I'm just going to fill it out, like, right here. We need to have a warehouse here, specifically for these guys. And I think uh, this one will do it, right here. How do you not have enough? Excuse me? Now you do. That was weird. I thought it had enough. That's crazy. Oops. We're in a race against time, my friends. Because I need to get champagne over to Rantium with the quickness, and this is the only way to do it. I have room for one more in here. I'm going to plop it down. And that way I can get what I need around it. Nope. 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 You're not doing that to me. Put this one here, and then we're going to put the fertilizer silo right over here. And then we're going to have a road connection that goes through here. Perfect. Get this one. Might help. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. This is going to suck. Okay. Uh, yeah. This one is gonna be awful. I don't even think I can. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with this one then. Get rid of this travesty. There's no way I can fit one here. I would rather just expand on this one. And then we can extend it as much as possible. So we have three, but we're still waiting on the goods that we need. How is it looking right now? Uh, I think it will stabilize here soon. I can put this one probably like right here. And that would work. Because when they actually have their fuel and their fertilizer, they're going to be working really fast. They'll have like one little plot right there. Looking good. They actually fit rather well. Okay, so we're getting the first fuel or first oil over here so we can actually get these guys to start up. And they're processing every 30 seconds, so this will be at 15 seconds, probably. We got four new farm fields built up very quickly. And we're actually utilizing ditch water space, so that's pretty good. I can even build unoptimized farms over in this corner. We have fertilizer here, right? We should. I know I've been bringing it over. Yeah, we're, we're maxed out. Okay, great. So we just need the fuel. Uh, take it like a single second in order for us to see 20 seconds for it oh you gotta be kidding me 
Well, that's unfortunate. But these guys still don't have fuel, so I'm gonna give it a little bit. We're going down when it comes. Oh my god, look at all these people. Yo, what is happening? A discovery that just oozes culture. Okay, you, you just, you shoo. I'm just mesmerized by the fact that we have this many workers for our champagne sellers. That is nutty. <laughs> okay. They are all just like uh, transporting a whole bunch of champagne. This is what ditch water is all about. Uh, we're at 76. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make some unoptimized farms right over here. Because, uh, quite frankly, they'll be working fast enough. They're not going to produce anything extra, really, but they'll they'll do well, I think. I did build it. The hell? Okay. Let's get this all in here, and then I'm just going to extend... Let's actually do this. Let's bring it to here, and then we're going to extend it just a little bit, because I want to build another farm right over in here. Yeah, right here. We'll have the tractor barn right here, and then we're going to have the fertilizer silo be right here, have a road connection go straight through, and then we will be able to build the farm fields going through here. Looking good. So I think this should be enough. This should definitely be enough for all these champagne sellers. Why are you... Why is this game doing this to me? Like, it's telling me I actually have enough, and then it just goes back and tells me, no, fuck you. You don't get to have nice things? There we go. I fixed it. You happy now? You're at a minute. See, that's the problem. Without any upgrades through your uh, trade union, those things work at a minute. But now they have both, so it'd be 30 seconds. But it's producing extra grapes, I guess. This should be... I think it's fine now. It's just right on the money. Yep, it's right on the money. So we're producing a lot... Well, it's a little bit high up. That, that's good. So... I don't really think I can change much more of what um, Isengard can produce as far as Cognac is concerned. I don't think Constantinople is going to need more. So I think we should be pretty good to use the Minerva now to start exporting some of Ditchwater's finest champagne over to Rantium. But I think over time we are probably going to have to put another ship to this. But I'm glad that we were able to utilize the space, and it looks really pretty. You have a good uh, view of Adifex over there in the corner. And getting rid of these freaking sand mines, even though we still got the little glitch going on here, that's fantastic. I'm just baffled how many people are working here. So how fast are you working? You're 20 seconds, you guys are at 30 seconds. Oh, okay, so it's not that much different and then we have the specialist in here this guy that's actually producing one champagne every eight tons so yeah it, it's working it's working good it's working very good now how's the oil looking because that's obviously going to yep perfect 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 okay okay we are going to head back over here and we got one of the first guys for this thing we got the albino fennec let me put down the i want the peacock to be in the best place this one unfortunately needs to be replaced with this peacock and then i will put the albino fennec right over here and uh we just reached ex exquisite metropolis max attractiveness here in rantium a ma as magical as cinderella's evening at 11 59 really cool Really cool. And I'm very curious to see what the uh, snowflakes will actually provide. As far as, like, island-wide bonus. Can these guys all upgrade? Are you good? Yeah, you're pretty good. Let's go ahead and do it. Why won't you? Because you're out of range of the university, and you're also... Okay. Well...
your friends can upgrade, but now this one can't either, because you don't have electricity, do you? Uh, I hate to do it to you, but I gotta do it. I, I, I have to do it. There you go. That looks a little bit better. While we're in this corner, because I got rid of two, I'm just gonna put the tempered grove in the middle. That looks pretty good. I want to say I can go ahead and upgrade these guys as well, and I think I will do just that. Still sitting at 3,000. That's really solid. Okay, I'm risking it. There we go. Looking pretty, pretty good. Why aren't there more bonquettes here and there? Okay, so where do we want our first um, skyscrapers to be at? I think um, this is probably a nice spot for it. Let's go with uh, this little section right here. Is that an engineer home? Oh, you, you gotta be kidding me. Really? Okay. I, I gotta get rid of this. I need to upgrade this one for sure then. Please let me get it. Okay, there we go. Holy crap. That was gonna set me off along with this one. That was gonna set me off so bad. But we got our first skyscrapers here in uh, Rantium. They're, they're the small prize, but what we're gonna do is... Um, in the front, we're not going to have really tall ones. We're just going to probably max it out at, like, level 2. And then, as we go further back, that's where we're going to have taller and taller skyscrapers. So, by the time we reach, like, this corner, or this section, rather, these ones will probably be, like, around level 3s. These ones would be level 4s, level 5s. And then all the ones up here, you're going to have, like, a mixture of, like, one, two, three, fours, and fives. It, they're not going to be, like, all level fives, mind you. They're going to be a mixture. Because if you build, like, a whole bunch of level fives looking at one another, their whole panorama view is going to really suck. And they're not going to pay you as much money. And that's what we don't want to experience at all. Surprisingly decent. Well, I dare say. <laughs> Thank you, Bean. That also being said, we we need to activate our uh, department stores and all that good stuff. So this one's right here. That's a furniture store. They're going to need a department store. Where's that one? I can probably get rid of this because we don't have any engineers close by anymore that require upgrading to my knowledge. So let's get rid of this one in favor of the department store. We're going to plop this thing down right here. We have some open space right here, so let's just go ahead and up and do a little bit of a uh, beautification to it. Oh, wait a minute! It has the um the nice cobble. I just noticed that. I just noticed that. Hold on, give me a moment. Does that one fit? Uh, it's not bad. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it at like that. That's actually kind of cool. I like that. While my mind feeds on ideas, these shelves do not. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, you'll get some toasters People here soon. People celebrate your leadership. I just need to start importing all that stuff that we need, really. I really want to upgrade these guys. Yeah, you go up and you go up. So we have no panoramas here, as to be expected. We need to actually get the department store up and running first before that happens. But yeah, it's it's killing me that we're actually having our freaking tourists have the highest building over here. <laughs> uh, I I just I can't. I, I fucking hate them so much. But they bitch all the damn time. It, I can't. I legitimately, it's annoying. What else can I bring in here? 
I don't think I'm gonna need a lot of work clothes and stuff like that, or People fish. celebrate your leadership. What a way to end the episode off. We actually have these things. So I'm gonna need some filaments. Where are the filaments at? Right here. I'm gonna need some steel. And I think the other Finally, one is zinc. we have possession of that curiosity. I'm pretty sure it's zinc. I'm bringing guns here, so I don't really care. Uh, zinc, 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 zinc. Zinc. Fifty for three thousand seven hundred sixty-nine giggity. I can even just produce zinc here, so that's gonna be fuck. That's gonna be fantastic. Let's get this at a hundred, so I have more of that. We got a harvest festival over here in Rantium. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We got some pretty decent upgrades, and we probably got the champagne route all situated for now. That's going to be fantastic. What are you bringing? That is right on cue. There's a champagne. So what do these things get? Occasionally produces extra rum champagne, but that's for crop farms, which we do not have here at all. At all. In a previous build of uh, Crown Falls that I had a long time ago, I actually put a whole bunch of vineyards on top of the hill right over there. I'm not going to do that here, obviously. But that's pretty good. We got a Harvest Festival here. People are crazy happy. I'm, I'm happy that the investors are happy. That's really important to me. Let me put the... Um, I think that one is the Albino Gorilla. Where can I put you? Probably where the Elk is. Yep, there we go. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'll probably uh, end up changing where the white peacock is and put the white tiger. I do have the white tiger over in this one, but I don't want to take it out of Mars, uh, Mars Zoo. So, pretty decent upgrades. We got our first skyscrapers built in the front. And it's just, now we just got to build on up. So, until next time, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button, share it with your friends. Help me grow the channel as People always. Celebrate your leadership. Do we need any other reason? I just went through the through the mountain. I didn't expect for that to happen. I've never actually seen this before. Oh my god. Okay. That was weird. So I will catch you on the next episode, guys. Thank you so much.